What's up, people? I thought I'd uh, take a little bit of a break from Mario 64 stuff for a while, because there are other games. And, uh... A long time ago, about 10 years ago, I had a huge uh, bullet hell phase. I guess you would call it a phase. I don't know. More like a kick. And I suck at them. This is going to be a short one, probably. And it probably won't get a whole lot of views, but I don't really care. Um, if you notice on the top right of the screen, I got memes scrolling. Just random memes from my folder. That way, if I get stuck on a part and I start getting frustrated and keep seeing me do the same thing over and over again, you got something else to look at. I thought it was a neat idea, I guess. <laughs> I'm not as used to this one. Oh shit. I should have pulled out my arcade stick. That would have made this better. Oh well. Uh, we'll do normal mode. The, these are all the Toho's. There, there's red Toho, there's blue Toho. I think I got the control set right. We'll, 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 we'll just go basic. Yeah. I said I was on a bullet hell kick. That doesn't mean I ever got any good at him. But we're gonna see if we can uh, brute force our way through this one. I think these games give you infinite continues. So if you don't know what Toho is, I barely know myself, but... Uh, a Japanese indie developer has been making these games almost yearly, I think, since like 1995. And if you don't know what we mean by bullet hell, another word for it is curtain shooter. Uh, you'll figure it out soon enough. It's already looking pretty ridiculous on the screen here with a lot of shit going on at once. As these games are. But. You'll see. If you don't know, you're gonna know. One thing these games are very well known for is having amazing music. I think it was a good idea picking the uh, secondary being a homing attack. It sure is hot. I'm not reading that out loud. You can read it if you want. Not to criticize the art style or anything, but it does sort of remind me of, like, back in the day, the, uh, You know those how to draw manga books from like 2004? <laughs> hey, that's where I got my start. Actually, I think I was in elementary school, and if you remember the uh, Scholastic Book Fair, it was like in the mid 90s, and I got myself. A how to draw Sonic in characters book. It, 
and I think that's when my actual addiction to drawing started. Like, I, li I loved to doodle as a kid, but once I figured out how to actually draw convincing looking Sonic and Knuckles, it was like, oh shit, I can do that. Isn't it amazing? Like, this is, this is my mentality. It's amazing that someone can pick up a wooden stick with graphite in it and smear it on a piece of paper, and then suddenly it looks like a thing. Like, doesn't matter how good you are at drawing, you can make a circle and two dots and, 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 <laughs> and, and a line, and it's a face. Like, the human mind is incredible that way. This is what happens when I start playing this kind of game. I get real focused. That's one feature I like in this game, speaking of focus, is the focus button. You hold the focus button and uh, your character slows down so you can easier dodge the bullets. And also a little dot appears that shows your actual hitbox. So like, don't worry about like your character sprite. The little dot is what you're worried about. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Here we go with this. Which Toho is, is this? 16? Gotcha. I'm doing pretty good so far. You know what? The artwork looks like it was like hand drawn on paper and then colored like in Photoshop or something. Which is something I used to do a lot. Being colorblind does not help. Oh, oh, oh. This is still tame by Toho standards. This is only level two. We're going to use the bomb now. Bonus fail. You know what? I don't care. I survived. In my eyes, the pink shurikens are blending in with the pink petals and making it harder to differentiate them. I hope I picked out some good memes. I wanted to pick out some timeless ones that'll never age. Or if they do, they age slowly. Oh, 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 okay, here we go. Crap. Continue. Yeah, I remember back in the day I was a huge perfectionist who would not use continues. I was in that arcade mentality. One quarter, one life, let's go. <laughs> I definitely had a hardcore gaming phase. Had an NES, a big old stack of games, and the ambition to complete every single one of them. Ghost and Goblins is bullshit. 
Now, it's a good game. It's just... It's got some bullshit in it. In the second level, with those green dudes that, like, block your way from going up the ladder, like, that's the first part where the bullshit starts because those guys are purely random and you know you can either get past them very easily or they could block your way and make you run out run the timer down You know, I think my YouTube channel is just an excuse to rant and reminisce. That's alright. Because I can. Either that or just play a video game and show off. I literally have a playlist called Totally Not Showing Off or Anything. ran right into that one. You know, I'm curious to see how YouTube's bitrate will even handle this. Oh, one up. Nice. What you get with the rabid guinea pig YouTube channel. One minute I could be playing hardcore first person shooters, the next, something cute. The next, I might do something that's not even related to video games at all. If you want to read that dialogue, just pause the video like 15 times. <laughs> uh. Actually, here's a trick. If you don't know, um, right next to the question mark, if you pause a video on YouTube, um, and you hit the two arrows that are right next to the question mark, you can go back and forth one frame at a time. You're welcome. That might be common knowledge, but it might not be. Some people don't know. It's fine. We all know what we know, and we all know the smartest people in the world could just not know something that is totally obvious to most other people, and that's fine. Holy crap, these yellow ones are coming right at me. At least I can visually differentiate them. Ugh. Well, that was just bad. You know what I want to be? I want to be the Bob Ross of YouTube gaming channels. I just want to be the guy who like plays a game and just spreads positivity. That's what I want. There's so much negativity on YouTube and on the internet in general these days. And I just want to sit here and play a game and be like, you are loved. You are loved and appreciated. Thank you for watching my video. Crap. It's okay. I have the power of infinite. I, I didn't even check to see if it was infinite or not. It might not be. 
this could be my last one for all I know. Is there a way to tell from here? I don't think so. Oh well. Are you kidding me? I really just ate that, didn't I? Of course, I would be a much more vulgar Bob Ross. You fucking matter, damn it. Credits three. All right, I see. Yeah, this is me dusting off old skills that were barely there to begin with. If you hear that clicking, that's my Xbox D-pad controller. You know the one, Xbox Series S. Quite frankly, one of the most accurate D-pads I've ever used in my life. Oh, this is a whole lot easier with the, uh... Homing attack. Well, well, help, help! I'm not using... I'm not using my specials like I should. I wouldn't be surprised if Toby Fox took some inspiration from Toho Games in his, uh... In his soundtracks. Say what you will about... Uh, Undertale and Deltarune. I think they're great. I've said it before, but... I'm in the mentality of, like, if a game ends up having, like, a ridiculously, uh, annoying fan base, there's probably something to it. But I played Undertale before I figured out it was, like, stupidly popular. I just got it because I thought it looked interesting. And also, like, as a fellow user of Game Maker, I was really surprised to see how he programmed certain things. I think he used Game Maker Studio One. So, it had a little more bells and whistles than I was used to personally, because I was using, like, the old Game Maker 8 at the time. Crap. Yeah, you're not get this isn't this isn't high quality gaming right here. This I have a small handful of games that I consider myself ridiculously stupidly good at, and this is not one of them. It's been a while since I did a crazy taxi score run, by the way. Oh, whoa, hey, hey! The projectile is shooting projectiles! Yeah! Whoa. Okay, back up, back up! That being said, I might try to get more practice. 
practice in this game. And then come back with another video. Oh, they're coming from behind now. Whoa! Uh. No, we ain't dealing with it. <laughs> yeah, this is obviously a fan translation. I don't think these games were ever officially re released outside of Japan. Uh, I don't think the creator, whose name eludes me at the moment, these games were all made by one person. Uh, well, that's it. I got to the really cool 3D book uh, bookshelf level or crates whatever they are and that's where it ends well I said this was gonna be a uh, short one just testing out a slightly new format here maybe it'll catch on everyone loves a good meme every now and then and by the way I don't know which ones are showing up on screen right now because uh, I just let OBS do its thing while I have the uh, the game window open. Could potentially lead to some uh, comedic timing. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. And you do matter.